Hi, I'm Ashley. I'm one of the Girl Meets Strong Strong ambassadors um, here in Michigan. So it is what 9 p.m. Um, my time. So some of you guys are probably just sitting down to dinner. I'm actually surprised that I'm up right now. Um, really tired. I usually get up pretty early, uh, even though it's summer. So a little bit about myself. Um, I'm 32 years old. I am the mother of a five-year-old. I got married almost exactly a year ago. Um, and I am expecting my second child uh, in, uh, I don't know, two months or so. So, you know, looking a little big these days. Um, but it's exciting. Uh, I had a loss of a child in uh, October, which was unfortunate. But um, with fitness and everything, just trying to stay positive and hope for the best with this rainbow baby. So um, when Girl Me Strong reached out to me, asked me to do a Facebook feed, um, what I was thinking about was a post I wrote a while ago about who inspired me. And um, it actually got picked up by the CrossFit Games website, um, which is pretty awesome. But who really inspires me at the gym are not the top athletes, not usually the ones that um, train you know, five, six hours a day, stuff that is not really, really reasonable. Um, it's the moms that I work out with. And most of the time you find them at the 9 a.m. class. Um, they usually are in and out really, really fast. They're, some of them are really, really good athletes. Some of them are just trying to lose the baby weight and just make it there. Um, but that's who really, really inspires me. And when um, I was thinking about this topic um, and what they find important, something that they all have in common, um, is that they all prioritize their fitness. And since they're all um, mothers, they all have a family also. And there's kind of this misconception that as soon as you become a mom, that takes um, priority. And I know people are gonna usually lash out at me for saying that, but like, yes, of course your kids are your priority, that kind of thing. I'm not saying that they're not um, your number one objective. Um, I'm just saying that you need to reprioritize um, and make your health probably um, one of the most important things, if not the most important thing. And there's a couple of reasons why. So the reason why I picked this topic, um, mainly I hear my friends, I'm a teacher, so I'm off right now. So um, hence the tan and the, uh, I don't know, lack of nice attire. But um, the uh, my friends always talk about their coworkers and they're always trying these ridiculous diets. Um, they're looking stuff up online. They drop their kids off at work or at school or wherever. Um, super, super busy, run and get McDonald's, run to work, and then search the internet for some type of diet or quick fix or something like that. And um, the, actually, sidetrack, when I was looking at my pregnancy app this morning, it was talking about diet fads that you shouldn't try, and one of them was the five bite diet, um, which I'd never ever heard of. But apparently you skip breakfast and then you can eat whatever you want the rest of the day, but you're only allowed to have five bites of lunch and then five bites of dinner. And I was like, this is absolutely asinine. It's not sustainable. It's not going to help any long-term goals. Um, and honestly, it's not going to make you healthier. So I think we needed to get down off this. Um, I need to be skinny. I need to look a certain way and start to um, look at overall fitness, something sustainable, something healthy, something that you would want to have an example of. Um, so anyway, um, when I was thinking about these coworkers, and my mom has another one, um, another woman, hi Beth, <laughs> that she works with, uh, who does the same thing. Like she packs her kids super healthy lunches, um, sends them off to school, and then eats crap. And I just, I don't understand. So what I think people need to start doing is putting themselves first. And I know that people disagree with that. Like, no, your family should be first, God should be first, whoever should be first. I disagree. I think that you should be first. And there's three main reasons I think you should be first. First, if you make yourself um, a priority, we seem to always have time for our priorities. So if your health, your fitness, your goals are your priority, then you're actually going to meet them. So there's probably a TV show that you watch every single week. You don't miss it. Um, if you make yourself something like that, where 
you know, I'm going to commit 20 to 30 minutes, three or four times a week um, to make sure I get my time to work on me, that's going to go a long way. So you need to be a priority. You'll make it work if you are a priority. So the number one reason um, actually stems from my own family. I think your health should be first because if, let's say, your children are first, you're not going to be alive to see them if you let your health deteriorate. I didn't have a single grandparent um, live beyond my high school years. Um, one of them died at 51. One of them died around 60. And I'm looking at my own parents right now. Um, my mom's about to turn 60. My dad's 62. And... I don't want them to miss my children's childhood. I don't want them to not see their grandchildren. I don't want my grandchildren to not grow up with grandparents. So if you put your health first, you're more likely to be around to see your children, the thing that you sacrifice so much for. The other part of that is I watch my parents able to play with my daughter and play with their other grandchildren. They can get up and down off the floor. They're not just like a bystander in their lives they're actually a part of their lives so by putting yourself first making sure you're healthy enough um, to not only live into your later years but actually be around for the family that you sacrifice so much for and the second reason um, I think you should is for your own mental health um, I was a single parent for a while I'm watching my brother now go through the same thing and uh, there's a lot to be said about working out, going for a walk, having 30 minutes of your own time, your yoga, or whatever you want to do to kind of reset mentally. And right now, since I'm a stay-at-home mom in the summer, um, I especially need that time. I don't know how all of you moms do it. It literally drives me nuts to be at home with a child all day where I'm just like, ah, oh, I need time for myself. Um, and just even 30 minutes, just to sweat it out, work out, focus on me. Um, I feel reset. I feel energized. I'm um, mentally more patient. Um, I think it's just a really, really good thing. And then the last thing is mainly because I think you need to be a good example for your children. Um, since I'm pregnant one of the and I've lost a child, one of the main things I want with this one is I want it to be healthy. And I don't know how you expect something to be healthy if you're not going to spend the time on that yourself. So it's kind of one of those um, do as I say and not as I do things, and I don't agree with that. You should um, be the example for your kids. So let them see you goal set. Let them see you strive to achieve more. Um, one of the biggest issues I have right now through pregnancy is I, uh, I don't have a quit button. I keep going. I push really, really hard, and I need to have a slow down. But... I also know that my daughter sees me not quitting. I don't stop. Um, I fail something, I keep going, I try again. And I think a lot of that um, can be played out when you, um, when you work out in front of your children. And so how do you make that work? I said if you make yourself a priority, you got to find the time. Um, so usually our priorities go family, work, fitness. Um, I'd like you to reset that to yourself, your own health, then your family, and then your work. Um, and I'm not saying don't, you know, take a bullet for your child, but it reminds me, my brother's a pilot, so great analogy is they always tell you to secure your face mask before helping others. And that, I think, is key for this in general. Unless you're mentally okay, you're physically okay, it's going to be really, really hard for you to be the best parent that you can be and the best person that you can be, uh, even if you don't have kids. So um, how do you do that? Well, I think if you're in a relationship where you have a partner, oh, Annie's here. <laughs> this is my rescue dog, Annie. Uh, she's a rat terrier, chihuahua, dachshund mix. Um, say hi, Annie. Hi. Um, she's my fur baby. So um, when you push yourself first... Um, with that, I'm, I'm saying 20, 30 minutes a couple times a week. Work it out with your partner. Um, when I was a single parent, I was thinking, I don't, I don't have that. Um, my mom helped me out a ton. If you don't have a person like that, um, I know at least where I go, I do CrossFit. Um, you, people bring their kids, and it's kind of like it takes a village type of thing. So um, crying baby, someone will probably hold it for you, or... Honestly, a kid can cry for 10 minutes while you finish your workout. I know that's mean, but they will live. <laughs> um, 
And uh, the other thing you can do, which I have to do a lot, is I have to engage Charlie, my daughter, um, into working out with me. So um, she can do burpees with me. I can do squats when the microwave's running. I can do push-ups, uh, commercials when the TV's on. Like, figure it out. Um, we go for a lot of walks. I go for a lot of bike rides. And I know that takes away from the my time, my alone time thing, but it's still that physical exercise. Um, the other thing with that is when you start to work out more, um, so you're doing yoga or you're doing Zumba, whatever it is that makes you happy, um, you tend to eat better. And I want her to see that I can, Annie, that um, food doesn't come from a box all the time. It doesn't come from takeout. And so even in the kitchen, uh, it takes a decent amount of patience <clears throat> Excuse me, but I like to have her help me cook. There's things that she can do. She can put stuff in a bowl. Um, we do stuff in like mini muffin pans or mini tins because she can help do that. And it takes time and it takes patience, but um, she's learning from that and I'm setting that example. So when you reprioritize yourself first, um, you're making sure you're there for your children, you're setting a great example for them, you're Honestly, and you could ask my husband this, I'm a much better wife. I'm so much less cranky um, when I've kind of relieved my stress and reset um, with some type of me time. Um, so I guess that would be my main thing with, uh, with fitness and prioritizing yourself. Um, Annie wants to be the star of the show, right? Um, in a busy life is if you make it a priority say, I'm going to do this, you will find the time for it. Um, and you don't honestly need a lot of time. Uh, the one thing to remember, though, is I know I'm kind of extreme here. Um, I work out five or six days a week at least. Um, but don't miss out on your kids' events. Don't become so obsessive with it that you start doing that. Like, I would never miss her swimming or her t-ball um, for a workout. So kind of plan my week ahead of time to make sure that I have stuff I can fit in. I know I'm going to rest this day. I know I'm going to have to get up early this day. Um, and kind of when you get in that rhythm, uh, it becomes part of your routine and you don't want to stop. Uh, it goes along with that goal setting. So that's it. So I see Molly. Yes, Molly, five bite diet. <laughs> I had never heard of it till I read my pregnancy app. And it obviously recommended not doing that, and I would probably say the same. That sounds insane to me. It's also a waste of food. Um, but I don't know if there are any questions uh, before I sign out or say bye. I don't think I see any. I don't know how to use this very well. It's probably bad that I'm a science teacher for high school and my technology skills are subpar. <laughs> Well, if there aren't any questions, um, you guys can feel free to uh, follow me um, at MamasRx. And, um, oh yes, giveaways. Uh, right now, um, Girl Meet Strong is doing a 21-day program starting in August. So if you don't know where to begin or how to begin, um, I know there's some great meal tips and meal planning things. Um, with that, it's an online community, so you'll be working with the, me and the other Strong Ambassadors if you need motivation, if you need help, if you need to scale a movement, because let's say you don't do push-ups yet, we're there to help you, um, kind of encourage you and keep you moving or get you started or whatever you need to be doing. Um, as far as meal prep and meal planning, um, in the summer I don't do as much of it. Um, in the school year, it's definitely what I live by. Um, I do all of mine on um, Sundays, and actually I'm getting ready to head up north. So this is what my planner looks like right now. Um, I'm prepping, I'm planning, so I write things down. So I usually make a list. Um, I say, you know, I'm going to make this many dishes, usually three, um, Matt and I, and then Charlie, over the family right now. So um, I usually make three dishes for like lunches and dinners. Um, prep them all on Sunday, get all my grocery shopping done. Um, that way during the week, I don't have to worry about it. Right now, um, my go-to snacks have been uh, 
peanut butter and jelly and rice crackers, which I don't know if that's um, the best thing. Um, but I always make sure I have that kind of stuff on hand so I'm not like eating Charlie's goldfish or whatever the heck she happens to be eating. Um, I found myself earlier finishing the crust off her sandwich every day and I'm like, why? Why? <laughs> it's unneeded calories and it's because I let myself get too hungry. Um, always make a lot of chicken on the grill. Always make a lot of rice. I try to eat, oh, a half a cup to a cup of green vegetables at every meal, including breakfast. So a lot of times I'll put some broccoli in with my eggs or asparagus or something like that. Um, but at Costco, great frozen vegetable section. They have a Asian stir fry mix in the frozen section that's like $8. It's my complete go-to. Throw it in with some chicken and rice and there's lunch. Um... Yeah, so always buying in bulk, chopping, prepping, um, cooking during the week is definitely not my thing. Um, if you are interested in the uh, Girl Meet Strong program, it is the Workout Warriors Plan. So you can go to www.workoutwarriorsplan.com. Or if you are following me, I know we're doing a giveaway on Instagram. So you can follow me at MomAsRx and tag some friends. And you could be eligible to win the program for free. There's also an early bird uh, special going on, so if you sign up uh, now in the next couple days, you can get a discount on the membership for the, um, the workout plan, so that's great too. And I think that's all I have. Um, so I hope you guys really do uh, reset. Um, and really try to think about putting yourselves first, um, putting your health before that of your family so you're around for your family um, and you'll be an overall better person um, emotionally, physically. I guess the physical aspect of it is that bonus that you get out of it aside from the natural high of endorphins <laughs> from working out. Um, but yeah, feel free to follow me. Um, watch my pregnancy journey. I'm still working out all the time. Um, and then my postpartum journey, which is going to be new for me because I didn't work out with Charlie. So um, we're going to see how I juggle two children here uh, with working full time and being a wife. So uh, that should be good. I'm planning on coming back to compete uh, in next year's, um, hopefully by the CrossFit Open of next year and some competitions in the summer. So We'll see how that goes. Can't wait. Um, but if you guys have any questions, um, shoot me anything on either Instagram or I have a Facebook page. And I look forward to hearing from you. And then don't forget, if you'd like to um, sign up with the Workout Warriors and be a part of our group, uh, me and the other Strong Ambassadors would love to have you. So I hope you guys have a great Tuesday night. And I'm going to start packing because I'm heading uh, to northern Michigan to go some tent camping. So I'll see you guys later.